Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Billy, and we're back with another episode of my indie game devlog. Today, I'm going to be going over how I used one trim sheet to build all of my environment prop assets. If you're creating 3D games, this trim sheet method is going to allow you to churn out a lot of assets in a short amount of time. So stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. So this is my trim sheet here. It tiles horizontally, and right now I'm just in Unity looking at the uh, preview of the material. We can flip through different material types. This is just the flat trim sheet material, and this is basically what I made in Max. So now I'll open up Max, and this is uh, my, my high poly trim sheet here. Turn on wireframe so you can see this is you know pretty high polygon. Basically the idea is to bake all of this high poly information down into just one plane. And so the beauty of this is it will all tile horizontally, and I can just use this one plane to build as many assets as I want. So this is a quick video of how I built the navigation computer earlier using this trim sheet, and I'll just kind of commentate over it uh, while I'm going. So I can I can rip off these squares from the bottom of the trim sheet, which is over here on the right, and then I have my player character on the left for reference, and he's also animated to do to press buttons on the computer. So I ripped the squares off and kind of put them into place to kind of start the base of the navigation computer. I put them in place in front of the character, and then I rip off these other squares, which I'm going to use for the sides of the computer base. So then I rotate them into place here and just kind of drag them to the side, put that one in place, drag the other one to the other side. And now I put the computer in front of the, the player reference so that I can see how the animation will interact with the thing. And then I go in and uh, adjust the vertices a little bit to give it a little bit of an angle that would be more ergonomic for typing or whatever uh, on the computer. And then I go back to the trim sheet and rip off uh, another piece and kind of drag it into place on top of this computer here. I edit the edges so that it fits with that angle that I gave it, and then I duplicate that face on the bottom so that it closes the object up. And then I weld it all and uh, clear the smoothing groups. And now I have the base for the computer. And using those same basic principles, I ripped off the top of the trim sheet to build this kind of bar to hold up the monitor, and then I just put some blue squares in place for the actual monitor and keyboard itself. And then as I said, the animation kind of fits up so that it actually looks like he's pushing something on the computer here. And then when I bring it into Unity and add some uh, emissive materials to the computer screens, this is kind of, this is what it looks like in game. So I built that within like 10 minutes and now it's in game looking pretty sick. Another way you can use this trim sheet is you just apply the material and then edit the UVs afterwards rather than ripping off the squares. So that's kind of what I did here. I hit it with a flat mapping real quick and then I sew up all of these sides so that it's all one uh, strip and then I drag that strip into place over that that top part of the trim sheet make sure it's all lined up and then I scale it out so that it looks like it would actually be the the edge of the chair and then I line up the front and back of the chair over here and then drag it onto another part of the trim sheet rotate it so that it fits in there and then just kind of drag it into place and now we kind of have the the back of the chair looking pretty legit and then once again, when you bring that asset in, uh, it's looking pretty good in Unity. We've got the emissive material on the keyboard and stuff. And then you got his chair back here looking real good inside the spaceship. So this is what it looks like now. And this is what it looked like before I uh, imported the chair into the ship. So now we're going to do a quick run through of all the assets that I made using this trim sheet. So we'll start in level one where um, I have this cafeteria type level where they kind of have it reinforced using some uh, picnic table type assets as well as this kind of trash can cylinder. This kind of small crate. Then I also added in these lights for the walls, which kind of adds this cool sci-fi glow effect, similar to what we added to the spaceship, but these are just lights on the walls. We'll zoom into the kitchen area where we have some countertops with uh, sinks in there. We also have different crate kind of setups and uh, trash cans along the side here. So over here we have like one unique group of the boxes. And then over here by the door we have another unique group of the crates and boxes. And then over here there's even more. So you can use the same assets multiple times rotate them, scale them a little bit, and they look fresh every time. One of the unique rooms on level one is the bathroom, where I, I made a kind of like a modular bathroom stall kit, so to speak. So you, you zoom in here, you can see the doors would open and there's, there's little toilets in there. And then we also have the bathroom sinks and stuff. So while I'm building these areas, I'm thinking what would the spaceship need in real life? Like bathrooms, it would need bedrooms, it would need uh, an armory for all the weapons and stuff. And then obviously the navigation room and also the, the docking bay where the player comes in at the beginning of the level. So over here we kind of have our barracks where there's a bunch of beds along the sides and then there's also like the captain's room where he has his own kind of bedroom back here. And then we have the armory with all the guns on the uh, 
the countertops with the clips and stuff and the bunch of crates back here which presumably would have more weapons and stuff in there and then as the player progresses through the level they would finally get to the navigation room or the bridge so this shot right here kind of shows a bunch of the different assets that i used using the same material the same trim sheet so we have this desk with some cans on it and then we have two benches which are actually the same object but i just rotated the one so they look like two unique objects trash can a bunch of different crates over here and then this countertop and then we have the the lights with the emissive material on it so this shot kind of shows how effective this trim sheet is okay so here's a part of level one before i added all these environment props in and here it is after you can see the the picnic tables the crates the countertops the sinks it really adds a lived-in feel to the environment and just uh, makes it seem more realistic all right guys so that's about it for how i use the trim sheet in my top-down sci-fi shooter game if you're a solo dev like me, you can use these quickly created assets as uh, final game assets in your games. But if you're in more of a team environment, you can use these as kind of placeholder art and then go back in and update them later on in development. If you want more in-depth information on how to actually create the trim sheet, I suggest watching Polygon Academy's tutorial, which is linked in the description below. Tim over there did a great job explaining how to actually create them. And that's the tutorial I followed on how to create one of my older videos, which I will also put in the description below. Definitely go check out my uh, fantasy environment using this trim sheet technique. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. If you made it this far, uh, drop a like on the video. If you liked it, drop a dislike if you didn't, and uh, let me know in the comments below what was good and what was bad. And uh, hey, maybe consider subscribing. For those of you that are interested, I will be posting a build of the game, which consists of main menu and level one, on my uh, itch.io page, so if you uh, want to go check that out, I highly recommend it. It will also be in the description below. Once again, thanks for watching. My name is Billy, and I'll see you in the next one.